Hi everyone! Welcome back to Music with Miss Bliss. For today's lesson, we are going to be learning how to turn our sevens percussion game into a round. Now, if you're not sure how to play the game or you need to review it, take a look at last week's video where I teach you how to play. You can find a link in the description box below. Now, some of you may be wondering what is a round? A round is also known as a cannon. A round occurs when at least two or more groups perform the same music or percussion part, but each group starts performing at different times. That's a little confusing, right? Let's take a look at a visual to see if we can understand how a round works a little bit better. All right, friends, let's take a look at our visual of how a two-part round works. As you can see, we have part one and part two on our screen. You can also see that there are four boxes showing us the four sections of our sevens game. Section one in red is our top section. Section two in blue is our taps and claps section. Section three in yellow is our taps, claps, and snap section. And section four in green is our taps, cross, claps, and snap section. Part one and part two perform each section in the exact same order. The only difference between them is that parts one and two start performing at different times. Part one will start performing section one or the tap section of the game right away. But as you can see, part two will wait until part one is done performing section one in order to start their section one. So part one starts section two at the exact same time that part two starts section one. Now, as you can see, we've added part three to our round. So we've taken our two part round and made it into a three part round. So parts one and parts two will start in exactly the same way as they did for the two part round. But part three is going to wait until part one is finished section one, part two has finished section one, and then part three will start section one. So when part three starts section one, you can see that part two is starting on section two and part one is starting on section three. Now you can see we've added a fourth part to our round. So this is our goal for today is to be able to do a four part round all together. So part one will perform section one. When part one is finished with their section one, Part two will start at the exact same time that part one moves on to the second section. Part three is going to wait until part two has finished section one. Then they'll start their section one at the same time that part two starts section two and part one starts section three. So we'll have three parts all going at the same time right here. Now part four is going to be waiting until part three has finished section one. Once part three has finished section one, part four is going to start performing section one. So right when part four starts performing section one, all four of our parts are going to be performing four different sections of the sevens game at the same time. Now, if you're still a little confused, that's okay. Lots of people learn in lots of different ways. And if you're one of those people who learns best by watching how something is done, feel free to watch through my version of a two-part round all the way through and then go back and try and perform it with me. Let's try a two-part round. If you've decided that you want to perform part one for this round, follow me. If you've decided that you want to perform part two this time, follow me. One, two, 
Ready, go. Let's try a three-part round. If you've decided that you want to perform part one for this round, follow me. If you've decided that you want to perform part two this time, follow me. If you've decided to try performing part three, follow me. One, two, ready, go. Let's try a four part round. If you've decided that you want to perform part one for this round, follow me. If you've decided that you want to perform part two this time, follow me. If you've decided to try performing part three, follow me. If you've decided to perform part four for this round, follow me. One. Two, ready, go. job you finished today's lesson if you had fun during today's lesson feel free to like and subscribe down below so that you'll know when more fun lessons are coming